only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? There's no doubt that Tokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Aito got crushed to death. That's wrong! The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with a press. The safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. saw in that video. He was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and the Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different other than the hydraulic pro- No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Around the hydraulic press? Isn't it the crossbow? But that's not around the hydraulic press. Okay, yeah. I figured that was wrong. Oh no! This. This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The bloodstain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Bloodstains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. Is it the sleeve? There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. Is it the small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with a weapon! I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, Curse! It's a very long name for a curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left a small hole in Kaito's sleeve is the, uh, the three arrows. What? How? How's that not right? Okay, the crossbow. This is it! 
I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. What's wrong? She probably needs to be. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I won't tell you! He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see, so I'm the culprit. need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's wrong! Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. Never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. Really? 
You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar, I see. Okay! Then the culprit is Himiko! Wait! Don't say it's me! Maki's more suspicious than I am! What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted! Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Kamaki too! They're both the culprit! Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit! You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Character? Himiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. <laughs> what? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. Nope, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! The truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. I didn't even use the crossbow! I agree! I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. <laughs> Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, 
What if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? You didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you... mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So... I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko! Wait. Yumiko used the crossbow? I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said! Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast, I think I might have whiplash now. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was. The person who asked Himiko to bring the crossbow, it was definitely Maki. No other person. What? What? How is that? Kaito? That's it! Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Not us. I hate you. I hate you too. Kokichi, that is. Himiko's cool. But I like you. But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry, I'll do something about this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. 